Hi, my name's Haley, and welcome to our channel. It's called Under Our Roof. My fiance and I bought this house. As you can see from the pictures, it was very outdated. Um, this first video is our kitchen renovation, and now I'm showing you some pictures of our inspiration. I always start every project with getting on Pinterest, looking at kind of what I'm envisioning the project to end up looking like. So you can see I'm going with very modern, black and white, uh, the concrete countertops. Let's see how it turns out. So with getting started, we just had to start the demolition. We had to open up walls, just get everything out of there that we knew we, we weren't going to work with. So this is the part I was most excited, I think makes the biggest difference is made this, this turns into the kitchen island. You can kind of see the vision starting here. We really didn't keep anything in this kitchen. All the walls, all the cabinets, everything had to go. We had to start with getting everything out of the way that was just hanging there. So that's all electrical and then Cody's working on the gas line right here. We had to reroute it so that it's all going to go next to that wood beam and be hidden within the island. So that's what he started with was the gas line for the stove. And getting all the cabinets ready we just went with white. <laughs> Where you can really see it coming together. Just made the frame for the kitchen island and Cody started to cut out for the stove to have a place to go. sure there wasn't any mold back behind there and there really wasn't so that was that was good but now I have to patch all that up but that's okay at least we made sure there wasn't mold and then this day was started on the electrical so he had to reroute tons of plugs tons of switches and put it within the island <laughs> this part doesn't really make sense until we're taking it off but we're going to be pouring a concrete countertop so this just is kind of the lip or the edge so that the concrete can pour over the plywood on the top you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute <music> Thank you. 
Then Cody hand mixed all the concrete for the countertops in our front yard. We probably looked so crazy to our neighbors. But when you're on a budget, you can't afford a mixer, and mix it yourself. So you would dump it onto the countertop and then I would pretend like I knew what I was doing and start spreading the concrete around. This is what it ends up looking like later on that night and this is where I start freaking out because look at the mess all on the ground and we're still living in the house through all this so which is part of the process but Cody was doing this all throughout the night just making it really smooth and then we started getting anxious so I said take off one of the sides and let's see what it looks like the next morning started taking all the sides off you can see there's a lot of lines in the top but it's still drying it takes a couple days to fully dry on the top of the concrete <laughs> did all the same things now on the other side. like these types of videos of home improvement and DIY projects, this is definitely what I want the channel to be about. Please subscribe, that helps me out. I will be doing more, like I said, DIYs with decorations and I'm going to show you we've redid the guest bathroom, the master bathroom, the bedroom, the dining room, the living room. We're going to be starting on the backyard soon. Um, if you enjoy watching all this, and I appreciate you subscribed and I'll definitely be posting more. I think I'm also going to be doing some uh, cleaning videos, cooking videos. That's kind of why I picked the name Under Our Roof. It'll be just a lot of things about what goes on under your roof. And here's what I was talking about. That it makes more sense once you see it. Um, took the, the wood framing off, so now it's just, it looks like a thick piece of concrete. I'm smoothing out some of the edges and then this I should do a whole nother video on it's with the concrete sealer we did a bunch of different ones long story short use a food grade sealer I ended up using at one point a outside sealer 
and it looked great it looked very shiny and nice but if any any little scratch would get on there it scratched the sealer so use a food grade sealer if you're doing concrete countertops there's a reason they they tell you to do that I learned that the hard way and this is what I ended up doing throughout the whole entire house on all the windows uh, these windows are all cream in the house it's a it was built in the 70s I think so the cream windows so I cleaned them really well taped all the windows up and then you'll see I'm gonna spray paint them all white the white just looks so much more clean and modern and obviously that's the style I'm going for to installing the new light fixture that makes such a difference too if, if you are thinking about redoing your kitchen maybe just start with painting your cabinets and doing a light fixture that was the original plan but this whole house we ended up the original plan was just maybe some new flooring some new paint new light fixtures no we ended up knocking down walls and going to the extreme but this definitely makes a difference Cody got started on the backsplash. This was, this was a, what I think really started the whole kitchen was we knew we wanted a black backsplash. Kind of nervous about it, but you'll have to let me know what you guys think at the end. I like it, and I think since they're such big tiles, it's not too crazy or too busy. But I think they're pretty cool and modern looking. We actually end up doing these same exact tiles in the guest bathroom floor. I'll definitely be posting a video on that soon. So again, another reason, please subscribe if you want to see what that looks like in a bathroom on the floor. nervous because it just looks so bold and black but I think you'll see with the grout it kind of breaks it up and you can see the actual design of the hexagon tiles <laughs>
switched out all the blinds in the house. They were all that old, you can kind of see it in the frame to the right. They were all that old, really flimsy, cream colored blinds. And that white just makes such a difference. And I am going to be doing a whole separate video on this pantry. So it was just a little tiny closet. You couldn't walk into it or anything, just had a couple shelves. And Cody actually uh, went through some, we had a, there was a hall closet right there, a water heater closet, and made it into a walk-in pantry. And then if you remember, Cody right now is like right where the wall used to be. So this wasn't even open before. And now it's open. We have the hanging hood and then the, the lights, the bar lights. show too much of it but Cody made a it's like a fake beam and so this is gonna hide all that electrical that he had to reroute and the gas line and just make it look prettier now anytime anyone comes over they always say are you gonna paint that or are you gonna keep it that color I like it this color maybe you guys can let me know maybe wait till the next video I think the next video is gonna be uh, showing you some decorations. So if you like decorating videos, again, please subscribe. And so you'll be notified. I think I'm going to post it within a couple days. But I like the raw, light wood look. I don't know if I should stain it darker, if I should paint it black. I like it. And then I, I know I really wanted some floating shelves on this back wall. I think the floating shelves they seem really difficult to hang. I kept this clip in here and it's just showing that I'm painting that these pieces of wood white we ended up at the very last minute changing our idea he made more of like a shell type of thing like he did with the fake beam because those pieces of wood just ended up looking kind of warped and too homemade but you get the idea it's similar to what we did at the very end but you'll see it and we did all new tile in the house with a light tile. the beam and then all around the island on the bottom and this trim just I think makes it look so much better makes it look more complete and clean I'm really glad he chose to do this through and then just put it like a bead of caulking all around 
everything, all the seams, and that really finishes it off, makes it look clean, makes it look complete. It made such a big difference. completed project. Here's a reminder of the before. In the same spot, what it looks like now. It just looks so much bigger, so much brighter, so much more updated. If you like this, please give the video a like and a nice comment and if you subscribe to the channel, you'll see more of decorating, cleaning, the rest of the house, all the projects we've been doing, and I'm definitely going to be po posting some videos on TikTok and Instagram. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!